Today I am going to explain the difference between devoid quanker method and dynamic programming. In devoid and quanker method, we are if you are going to solve the problem, first the problem is divided into small sub problems, and whereas in dynamic programming also, we are, if you are going to solve the problem, first we will divide the problem into small small problems. Those are called as sub problems. and in divide and conquer approach the small pro small problems are independent of each other because there is no uh, storing technique in dynamic programming all sub problems are dependent of each and other because the whatever the value we are calculating those values are stored in a particular table for future purpose and in devoid and quanker approach there is, we will not store any solution for the sub problem and in dynamic programming it stores the solution of the sub problem and in devoid and quanker approach it uses the top down approach and in dynamic programming it uses the bottom up approach recursion first we will see what is recursion so algorithm calling itself is called recursion so whereas in divide and conquer approach we will use the recursion method and in dynamic programming we will not use the recursion where we will use the iteration means non recursion so here there is no function calling itself or algorithm calling itself here we will use the repetitive loops and we can write the algorithm the applications of divide and conquer approaches merge sort binary search and quick sort whereas in uh, dynamic programming the applications for it is optimal binary search tree and all pairs shortest path problem and multi stage problem and divide and conquer approach there are the three steps are there first one is divide and second one is conquer and third one is combine in divide step we will divide the big problem into the small problems in in step 2 we can find the feasible solution and in step 3 we can combine the all the solutions together steps five steps those are divide optimal solution momization and reuses and final solution in first step divide we will divide the big problem into small sub problem after that in step 2 we will find the optimal solution for the sub problems in the step 3 we will store the values for the future purpose and in step 4 we reuse those values in step 5 we will find the final solution these are the five steps in the dynamic programming and in divide and conquer approach there is no momization process means there is no uh, we will not store any value here and whereas in dynamic programming the process of storing the values in a table that is called the procedure is called as momization or memorization technique and whereas in devoid and conquer there is no storing techniques and in uh, in dynamic programming we are using the momization technique for storing that the reason the dynamic programming is also called as tabulation method or we can call it as table filling method these are the differences between devoid and conquer approach and Thank you everyone